Hi, welcome to Kauservice channel. In this video, we are going to see one numerical problem on trend analysis. Already we have seen list of videos on financial statement analysis that is a common size statement and comparative statement analysis. You can find the links in the description box. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the further notification of my new uploads. Now let's get into the video. Before we see the numerical problem, let us understand the meaning of trend analysis. Trend analysis evaluates an organization's financial information over a period of time. Okay. So often it is used to evaluate each line of items on the income statement as well as balance sheet. There is a formula to find out trend percentage. The formula is current year data divided by base year data into 100. So this percentage that is trend percentage is applicable for each and every item of income statement as well as balance sheet information. Now we will see one numerical problem to have a better understanding of trend analysis. Look at the problem. From the following data, you are required to calculate the trend percentages taking 2018 as base year. So here they have clearly mentioned that 2018 data is the base information. Based on that, we are going to calculate trend percentage for the rest of the three years. Okay. See the information. Here they have given all the values amounts in thousands. See, under particulars, they have given sales minus cost of sales. You will be getting gross profit. And then from gross profit minus selling expense, you will be getting net operating profit. So, this is the information they have given for 2018, 2019, 2020 and 2021. Okay, with this information, they ask you to prepare trend percentages taking 2018 as base year. Now, let us see the solution to prepare trend percentages. Look at the solution table. Statement showing trend percentages for the period 2018 to 2021. Particulars, year end at the end of 2018, 19, 20, 21, all the data that is rupees in thousands. So, that is given in the problem. No, we are going to record the particulars and uh, the data from the question as it is. After recording all the information, we are going to calculate trend percentages. Uh, base year is 2018. So, this information is given in the problem. No, based on that, we are going to calculate trend percentage for all the other years. Now, let us see the question. Look at the question. Just copy the particulars and amount for 2018-19-20-21 in the solution table. See the solution. I have entered particulars and years that is amount for 2018-19-20-21 from the problem as it is. Okay. With this information, we are going to calculate trend percentages for 2018-19-20-21. What is the formula for trend percentages? Look at the formula. Trend percentage is equal to current year divided by base year into 100. Okay. See the solution. For 2018, we are going to get 100 percentage for each and every item. The reason is uh, 2018 is the base year. Okay. Just see the first one. Sales 750. What is the formula? Current year data divided by base year into 100. So, current year is for 2018 I am telling. 750 divided by base year same thing 2018. 750 into 100. So, 750 by 750 into 100, you will be getting 100 percentage. In the same way, the next item, 400 by 400, 1, 1 into 100, 100. So, for 2018, we will be getting 100 for each and every item. Okay. In the same way, we need to calculate trend percentage for 2019-2021. If we get any decimal, you can round up the figure. Simply apply the formula. Now, let us see the calculation for 2019. So, what is the formula? Current year data divided by base year data into 100. So, for 2019, the first information is sales. No, 900. 900 divided by 750. Base year is 2018 information. 750 into 100. So, what is the answer? 120. So, 120 percentage. See, the trend percentage for 2019, that is the first information sales, how much percentage? 120 percentage. Okay. In the same way, calculate for other information. 
The next one cost of sales for current year 500 divided by base year 400 into 100. Answer 125 percentage. So enter 125 percentage. In the same way, we need to calculate trend percentage for each and every individual item. Okay, for 2019, the next information is GP. Gross profit 400 divided by 350 into 100, 114 percentage. The next information, selling expense 80 divided by 50 into 100, 160 percentage. Then, the net operating profit 320 divided by 300 into 100, 107 percentage. Okay, in the same way, we are going to calculate trend percentage for 2020 as well as 2021. For 2020, 1250 divided by base year, same 2018, 750 into 100, 167. You have to round up the figure, okay. And then, the next item cost of sales for 2020 650 divided by base year 400 into 100 163 percentage. Then gross profit for 2020 600 divided by base year is 2018 no 350 into 100 171 percentage. The next one selling expense for 2020. 100 divided by 50 into 100, 200 percentage. Okay, so now net operating profit for 2020, how much? 500. So, 500 divided by base year, 300 into 100, 167 percentage. Now, calculate percentage for 2021. So, 2021 is the current year, no. So, current year 1500 divided by base year 750 into 100, 200 percentage. Next, 750 divided by 400 into 100, 188. Then, 750 divided by 350 into 100, 214. Then, 120 divided by 50 into 100, 240 percentage. Then finally, net operating profit for 2021 how much? 630 divided by base year 300 into 100, 210 percentage. That's all. So, this is the way to calculate trend percentage for each and every year taking 2018 as a base year. So, according to the problem only we have considered 2018 as a base year. Okay. Hope you understand the video. In the next video, we will see ratio analysis. You can find the links in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.